Hi everyone, my name is Alexa and I'm the OT student intern at the FRC. Um, this week we are going to be going over how to check your bed and prevent things like bed bugs and lice. Um, they are not all that uncommon and they're very easily spread. So um, catching them early, knowing the signs and knowing what they look like is very important. So we're going to be going over um, tips and tricks for that this week. In this video, we are going to be going over how to identify um, if you have bed bugs. So um, most bed bug bites, they look like this. And they are typically found on the hands, arms, face, and neck. Um, they kind of resemble an allergic rash uh, because they are kind of clustered together. So um, something that resembles these types of bites could indicate that you possibly have bed bugs. Um, as far as what the bed bugs look like um, up close, they are commonly confused with fleas. Uh, fleas look like this, whereas a bed bug, which looks like this, a bed bug has um, a rounder, more oval-shaped body and um, they're a little bit darker in the middle, but they can be commonly confused with fleas. Um, a bed bug is about a fourth of an inch long. So now that we've gone over kind of what the warning signs of bed bugs uh, bites and what they look like, um, we're going to go over how to examine your bed for bed bugs. Um, I am by myself, but ideally I would like to have another person help me um, if I'm truly like getting in there and looking at every nook and cranny of my bed. I would really ideally stand my bed up on the wall, my mattress and my box spring and look underneath them. Um, in this video, we're not going to go over that, but in the ideal situation um, and you really do suspect you have bed bugs, um, lifting your bed up and looking at the undersides against a wall would be uh, the most effective. But the first thing you want to do is carefully move back your um, sheets and comforters. Um, do this slowly so that you're not flinging bugs everywhere if there are bugs there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and remove. Um, this is an example of a mattress protector as well, which makes it harder for bed bugs to um, penetrate your mattress. Um, they're pretty easy to come by, so that's another thing to consider if you're wanting to prevent bed bugs. But um, the first thing I'm going to check once I get my sheets and my comforter out of the way is I'm going to take the time to look around all of the ribbing, looking deeply underneath and around. Um, they like to hide in edges and seams, so looking all the way around the circumference of my bed around the ribbing. Um, also another thing to consider is if there are any tags or anything on your mattress um, on top or around here. Uh, the bed bugs do like to burrow and get anywhere where they won't be disturbed. So all of those little tiny nooks and crannies would be good places to check first. So once I do this around the entire circumference of my bed, I want to do it for the bottom as well. So I personally don't have any extra ribbing on the bottom, but if you did, this would be when you would set your mattress up against the wall and go around and do the same thing all the way around the bed um, to look under those seams. Um, same thing for the box springs, looking around the edges and underneath the tags. Um, the box spring is the most common place for bed bugs to hide. So really lifting the underneath, setting it up against the wall and looking underneath the box spring is the most common place that you will find bed bugs. Um, so that would be really important. And again, making sure that you're not doing this to where you would injure yourself, always having help if you would need it. Um, and having an extra pair of eyes would help too. Um, this is an image of what um, bed bugs would look like on a mattress. So this is an example of a nest of bed bugs on a mattress. So those would be the types of things that I would be um, keeping an eye out for when I'm looking around the seams of the bed. 
Um, so I hope you guys found this video helpful and informative as far as being able to identify having bed bugs, how to check your bed, and what they look like. Um, in the next video, we are going to be going over more ways to get rid of them and prevent them. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.